New York in the theater in the round, in effect. We'll see you back here tomorrow night on NBC Nightly News. And back to school blues. The summer is what pays the bills in this business. Why this year, resort owners are feeling it even more than students. Plus, terrorism inside a Russian school. The latest on a frightening hostage standoff. But first, case dismissed for Kobe Bryant. The victim has informed us after much of her own labored deliberation that she does not want to proceed. Tonight, how the NBA star is responding to the news. This is Carol 11 News at 10. Thanks for joining us. The case collapsed tonight after Bryant's accuser said she no longer wanted to proceed with the trial. The dismissal marks a stunning turn in the high-profile case against one of the NBA's brightest young stars. A Colorado judge threw out the sexual assault charges just hours ago under a deal that means no charges will be refiled. Bryant, whose trial had been dazed from opening arguments, responded tonight with an apology to the woman who accused him of rape. He says he believed the encounter was consensual but recognizes that she didn't see it the same way. Prosecutors, meanwhile, say they felt they had a strong case but couldn't continue without the accuser's testimony. I have absolutely no doubt that those ethical standards were met and exceeded. As long as the jury had the opportunity to see and hear the facts of what happened in that room from the victim herself. The woman's attorney says she has been disturbed by a series of courtroom mistakes that included the release of her name and her medical history. She has filed a civil case against Kobe Bryant. That case will continue. A call to a report of domestic violence tonight left two Minneapolis police officers injured. The officers responded to an apartment on Glenwood Avenue North where they say a man was assaulting a woman. While arresting the man, a female officer received an injury to her hand. A male officer suffered a knee injury and the suspect was transported to HCMC. No shots were fired and authorities say no weapons were involved in the altercation. It is just days before a major holiday weekend and typically Minnesota resorts would be packed. But not this year and resort owners are blaming the early start of school. Business at one summer hotspot has dropped off more than 50 percent in recent days and while some say there ought to be a law, it turns out there used to be. Care 11's Jana Shortle explains. If you know much about resorts in Minnesota, you know that they should be full around Labor Day. It's a seasonal business. Summer is prime time, but you'd never know that at Cavanaugh's. They're all empty. No, there's nobody here in all of our three-bedroom units. It's not Mother Nature's fault or bad fishing on Sylvan Lake. It's all because of an early start. Buenos dias. Lots of kids headed back to school today, leaving vacation resort towns like Brainerd looking like ghost towns. We you know, would be full of activity. The parking lots would be full. Uh, we'd have a lot of people here, and our restaurant would be, would be full at night. One table at the restaurant for dinner. The staff has even left, most of them back to school. But it's a, it's a pretty big hit. Schools that begin before Labor Day have dried up this beach. John Cavanaugh says his resort has lost 8% of its annual income because of the early school start. The state fair looks to suffer, too, losing kids as workers and fairgoers back to classes. The after Labor Day law left Minnesota in the 90s. Since then, the law reads that kids can go to school no sooner than September 1st. It may seem like nothing, and it is just a few days, but to Brainerd, it's nearly everything. This particular week cuts it down to about 35 percent. Summer is sacred in Minnesota, but you couldn't tell today in Brainerd. One look at the shoreline said pretty clearly, summer is over. Now, in terms of sheer numbers, Kavanaugh says of his 52 condos at the resort, right now, only 20 of those are rented. He says usually the week before the Labor Day weekend is totally rented out, and oftentimes there's even a wait list. Now, things may stay the same for the resorts next year, with Labor Day falling on September 5th. Hmm. Thanks, Jana. Sure. For the second time this summer, the St. Paul City Council passed an ordinance banning smoking in bars and restaurants. Today, the council voted 4-3 to three in favor of the ban. Mayor Randy Kelly vetoed the last proposal, but has said he wouldn't oppose it this time around. He calls an all-out ban unrealistic, but says he does favor a regional ban. We think that uh, this uh, still is the answer to our, our smoking question. It uh, protects the health of workers. It protects the health of uh, <coughs> ordinary citizens, and I would move approval. We're just waiting to see what he does. I mean, we're hoping he vetoes it, but I, who knows for sure, especially in St. Paul. 
Part of Bloomington's smoking ban went into effect today. Smokers can no longer light up in or near public buildings. Come March, the ban will expand to bars and restaurants. A chilling standoff continues tonight inside a Russian middle school where armed militants are holding more than 300 teachers, parents, and children hostage. The crisis began more than 20 hours ago when suspected Chechen rebels with explosives strapped to their bodies stormed a first day of school ceremony. As many as eight people have been killed, but about a dozen managed to escape. Russian authorities say rebels are threatening to blow themselves up if troops attempt to enter the building. They have also threatened to kill 50 children for every rebel killed during the standoff. In essence, war has been declared on us. The enemy is unseen and there is no front line. The hostage situation comes one day after a deadly suicide bombing outside a Moscow subway station and about two weeks after two explosions brought down Russian jetliners. Chechen terrorists are believed responsible for all the attacks. A Democrat describes John Kerry as, quote, more wrong, more weak, and more wobbly than any other national figure. Georgia Senator Zell Miller delivered the keynote address at tonight's Republican National Convention. And as Carol Evans Boyd Hooper reports, the double-barreled attack did not end there. The Honorable Zell Miller. When Democratic Senator Zell Miller stepped to the podium tonight, he did so as an experienced convention keynoter, though last time... It was a different message. For 12 dark years, the Republicans have dealt in cynicism and skepticism. Miller's target at that Democratic National Convention 12 years ago was the first President Bush. Let's face facts. George Bush just doesn't get it. Miller still calls himself a Democrat, but tonight he did a flip-flop the Republicans could appreciate. John Kerry wants to refight yesterday's war. President Bush believes we have to fight today's war and be ready for tomorrow's challenges. But it was yesterday's war and Kerry's war record that some delegates poked fun at by wearing these Purple Heart Band-Aids. A Democratic Party leader calls it disgraceful. Republican officials say the Virginia delegate handing them out has agreed to stop. Kerry, meantime, could hardly avoid the subject of military service as he addressed the National American Legion Convention in Nashville. When I am president, you will have a fellow veteran in the White House who understands that those who fought for our country abroad should never have to fight for what they were promised back here at home. Everybody at the Republican Convention, get up off your feet! At our homes, a majority of TV viewers are sitting out the Republican Convention. Just over 12% of homes in the Twin Cities watched the convention last night from 9 to 10 p.m. on channels 4, 5, and 11. Better than the 9.5% who watched the same night and hour of the Democratic National Convention. But compare both those numbers to the 32% of homes watching the three local stations last Tuesday during the Olympics. Ronald Wilson. Reagan. Those watching tonight saw a video tribute to President Reagan. I make this pledge. And Dick Cheney accept his party's nomination for another term as vice president. And together, we will make George W. Bush president for another four years. Convention workers now start setting the stage for tomorrow night's appearance by President Bush, a speech to be made theater in the round style. Frank and Julie Republicans say it's a first for a national political convention. Okay, thank you, Boyd. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not even old enough to vote, but dozens of Twin Cities teenagers are getting involved in the political process. The Teens for Kerry group spent most of the afternoon calling voters and asking them to back John Kerry for president. We're just trying to do what we can because we, we obviously want to help John Kerry. You know, we want him to be our next president. We can't vote for him, so this is what we're, what we're doing to try and get him in office and stuff. The teens say they won't let school get in the way of their campaign to elect Kerry. They're holding youth volunteer days every Saturday until the election. The body of a Litchfield man who was reported missing in July has been found in Ohio. And tonight investigators say his suspected killer may have more victims. Police found 43-year-old Daniel Everson's body inside this home in the city of Dayton. They say they went there after homeowner Matt Caddy confessed to killing a man. Authorities say the evidence seized in the home could lead to more victims. Caddy is in jail tonight on aggravated murder charges. Hundreds of thousands of Floridians are being ordered to evacuate tonight ahead of Hurricane Francis. The powerful Category 4 storm barreling toward the Florida coast is taking aim at Palm Beach County tonight. It comes just weeks after Hurricane Charlie's rampage. 
If it hits Florida, it would be the worst double hurricane strike on one state in at least a century. Still ahead, Ken updates the hurricane, and a day hotter than any we saw in August is now in the forecast. Ken has the late summer heat wave next. Plus, after an exciting extra inning win last night, the Twins try to take another one from Texas. And a real-life sister act unfolding in a Minnesota city. How one act of compassion is leading to another and another. That's next for the extra. Labor Day, Labor Day. Isn't it great? Storewide savings. Don't be late. Drop in yourself or bring a date. Interest-free payments till 2008. A place for your buns. A place for your plates. A place to hang out in. A place to sleep late. And interest-free payments till 2008. The Home Furniture Labor Day Sale. Going on now. One of these things is not like the others. One of these things just doesn't belong. Can you tell which thing is not like the others by the time I finish my song? From the bread we bake fresh every day to the fresh ingredients we prepare right in front of you. Everything we do, we do fresh. What do you choose? Then you're absolutely right. Since I got my sleep number bed and I set it to 45, not only am I sleeping better, I'm actually dreaming better. First I dreamt that I got this new job, and I did. And then I dreamt I got this big promotion, and I got it. Then I dreamt that I met this handsome movie star, fell in love, and got married. <laughs> okay, maybe he's not a movie star, but still my dream come true. Changing the way you sleep could change your life. Find your sleep number at a select comfort store. Right now, you can find the soul of a sports car in more new Mazdas than ever. And during Mazda's Choose and Crew sales event, for a limited time, choose from a variety of offers on a great selection of new Mazdas, including low APR financing or great cash back or special lease offers. Like 0.0% limited term APR financing or up to 3,500 cash back. So no matter how you want yours, get to your Twin Cities Mazda dealer for a test drive and cruise away with great savings. Hurry, these offers end September 6th. John Kerry has a little problem making up his mind. Okay, a big problem. In 1996, he opposed the death penalty for terrorists. Now he claims to support it. Sometimes he's for welfare reform, sometimes he's against it. For a 50 cent gas tax hike? Then maybe not. Kerry voted for higher taxes 350 times, but now says he'd cut taxes. So, how many times must John Kerry flip-flop? The answer is blowing in the wind. Some people think that Gabbert's is just traditional furniture. Does this look traditional to you? Some people think Gabbert's is expensive. Does this look expensive to you? Hi, I'm Jim Gabbert, and if you're looking for fabulous furniture at a great price, visit us today. And pay no interest until 2006 on any purchase of $1,000 or more. You'll find your home at Gabbert's. For most of us, family is everything. But the entire concept is taking on a tender twist in the city of Wilmer. It all started three years ago when one family opened its doors to a Ukraine orphan. When word got around that the first little girl left sisters behind, things got really interesting. And as Boyd Hooper reports in tonight's Extra, in Wilmer, compassion is catchy. One, two, three, four. In every way but one, it seems so right. That is very nice. Right. For Nadia Roberts to leave an orphanage in Ukraine. Not me. Not me. For a stable home and loving parents in Wilmer. Right. It was very hard. In every way, but Good. one. But we had underestimated just the natural sister bond. When Stacy and Eric Roberts brought Nadia into their family three years ago, Nadia's three older sisters, Anya, Marina, and Spieta, stayed behind at the orphanage. She was crying, all three sisters just stood there. They were all crying, the Workers teachers were crying. <laughs> it was a big, it, it, broke, it broke my heart, I think it broke your heart. The too. Roberts prayed someone in America might give homes to the other girls too. Everything just fell into place. But they never expected that someone would also be 
from Wilmer. When Eric and Stacy first came home, they had this picture of the four girls, and it just hit home to us that we both just felt this strong tugging that we needed to get these sisters together. Art and Annette Benson brought Anya to their home last year within sleepover distance of her sister. I am? Oh, I knew that. <laughs> their face just lights up when they see each other still. But Wilmer's sister act wasn't done yet. Annette brought home a picture, and being from a family of four girls, um, I saw Marina sitting on the ledge, and something in my heart said she needs to be in our family. Don and Ross Marcus will be leaving for Ukraine later this month to bring Marina home to Wilmer II. And as for Spieta, the only sister unclaimed at the orphanage, what do you think happened next? It was just too much for me to handle to think that she was going to be there by herself without any of her family there. Since yeah. Sharon and Tony Cruz learned that at 16, Spieta is too old to adopt, They've been working to get her to Wilmer and into their home on a student visa. I can't wait for them to be together. The motivating picture in my mind is to picture them all together. The word doesn't even exist to describe the relationship being woven between these four Wilmer families. Cousin, uncle, stepsister doesn't cover this. When you say I'm adopting my friend's daughter's sister, it sounds kind of goofy, you know. Go figure that one. My daughter! <laughs> to have these four girls in four separate homes that are loving and caring. They're bonding with a whole other set of siblings, but then to still have their own connection is probably the best case scenario. It, it has to be, because that's the way it works out. <laughs> if everything works out, by year's end, Nadia, Anya, and both their sisters will be back together for the first time in three years. I feel really good to have all my sisters here. A family again. <laughs> in a Wilmer way. <laughs> the four Wilmer families also have a spiritual relationship. All are members of First Baptist Church in Wilmer. Bringing Spieta home on a student visa may prove the trickiest. Sharon and Tony Cruz are waiting for an appointment with the U.S. Embassy in Ukraine. They do feel some sense of urgency since Spieta will have to leave the orphanage at the end of the year with little hope of furthering her education. Oh, wow. Let's hope that happens for yeah, everybody. Keep us updated, will you, Boyd? We sure will. Yeah, Thanks. Nice to have some good news tonight. On to a much lighter topic. She's transformed <laughs> from the 80s girl who just wanted to have fun to a soulful jazz singer. But Cindy Lauper still knows how to play to the crowd. The 51-year-old pop star hit the grandstand tonight singing her old hits along with the classics on her new album, At Last. Get out of here, she's 51 years old. Yeah, she still doesn't she look remarkably the same? Yeah, but I, I just pictured, you know, doing that teeny bopper. Oh, I know all the words, but I'll spare all of you. Oh, okay. talk to you tonight. You know the Come words on, to girls just, just want to have fun. Just one. Come on. <laughs> just one bar. <laughs> here you are. Come on, Julie. Oh, there I am. The phone <laughs> rings in the middle of the night. My father says, what you're going to do with your life. Those Ken's got to do the weather now. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hey, Frank, take away her drink in there. Well, yeah, it's I don't know the what's heat, Ken. Yeah, it's the heat. the heat. And the humidity, you know. It's warm. It's hot. It's going to get even hotter <laughs> during the day tomorrow. And we have 90 degrees possible across portions of the area. Let's get to it. We have a time lapse to show you from this morning. Some fog. Some very dense fog. If you were out and about early this morning, driving to work perhaps, you saw it. But as we put it into motion, you can see the fog lifting to reveal the skyline. And there's spider. Uh, turned out to be a nice day. Again, been on the warm side for some, but still a very, very nice day. And the spider had plenty to eat, as you just saw. Moving on, temperatures today warmer. Really, this equals actually the warmest we had during the whole month of August, and that was on August 1st. Today, September 1st, so why not get close to 90? 87, 62 the low this morning, no rain, 78 degrees right now. Look at the dew point. It's high. It's close to that very tropical 70 degree mark. Highs across the area today look like this. Once again, there's our 87, but it was only 70 up at International Falls, 88 down to the southwest at Sioux Falls, Pier 100, and Williston, North Dakota, 102 degrees earlier this afternoon. It's still mild across most of the area. Mora, the cool spot, one of the cool spots, 59. Siren, there's going to be one in the gang, already down to 55, so it's cool up north, but soupy here to the south, and tomorrow, is going to be downright hot as the hot winds out of the southwest continue to blow in here. It's going to be windy. That'll help out at the fair, but it's going to be close to 90 degrees and very, very sticky. Now, here is Hurricane Francis 
They told you about it earlier in the show. It is a massive storm. We've been watching this for almost a week now, and it's headed to Florida. They've just been issued now hurricane watches for most of the coast of Florida with anticipation of this Category 4 140-mile-an-hour storm headed their way tomorrow night and Friday. Here's our forecast in the Twin Cities. Oh, by comparison, very calm, hazy, humid, maybe some fog. Not thick like last night, but some patchy fog, 64 to 68. Tomorrow, windy and hot and humid, sunny, close to 90 for the first time in over a month in the Twin Cities. Friday stays hot as well, close to 90. Saturday, a late-day thunderstorm at 86. Cooling down, we've been saying that would be the trend for Sunday and Labor Day itself, and it still looks to be the case. No all-day rains, but a scattering of showers and a couple of thunder showers. Guys, that's it. We can consider ourselves very lucky to be dealing with heat and humidity. A hurricane will be headline news down in Florida, unfortunately, for them. Boy, you called that. I remember two weeks you said watch out for this it's thing. It's going to be nasty. Ago. Yeah, it is. All right. Thanks, yeah. Ken. Mm -hmm. All right. Who is Terry Tiffy? Well, he's actually the hero for the Twins at the Metrodome tonight. And Team USA is in the Twin Cities getting ready for World Cup action at the X. Randy has a preview. Hey, that thing got a Hemi? You're about to find out. Dodge Ram with the legendary Hemi. Loved by those who have one, dreamt about by those who don't. Sweet. Get the best selection of 04 Ram 1500 quad cabs with 0% APR for total savings of up to $8,100. Some people think that Gabbert's is just traditional furniture. Does this look traditional to you? Some people think Gabbert's is expensive. Does this look expensive to you? Hi, I'm Jim Gabbard, and if you're looking for fabulous furniture at a great price, visit us today. And pay no interest until 2006 on any purchase of $1,000 or more. You'll find your home at Gabbard. <laughs> the department store runaround. Go straight to Marshall's, because having style is knowing where to find it, and where to find it for less. The brands, the prices, the possibilities, Marshall's. We created Ranchers Preferred, because ranchers just like things a certain way. Like lunch is so big, you have to call them dinner. And beef is tender, as the care that went into raising it. But if you're going to eat the rancher's way, remember, the only thing they prefer more than high-quality food is high-quality table manners. Introducing Rancher's Preferred USDA Choice Black Angus Beef, now available exclusively at Cub Foods. F-R-E-E -E free. Now through Wednesday at the Wix Labor Day sales event, enter to win a free room of furniture at every Wix showroom. Plus, buy beautiful Wix furniture interest-free until September 2007. Not one year, not two years, up to three years away. No money down, no minimum purchase, and no interest till September 2007. Just make equal monthly payments. The Wix Labor Day sales event. Interest F-R-E-E -E free till September 2007. 22 Aereo Luther dealers have placed over 4,000 used vehicles on the block for a super summer sell down. Luther dealers must sell down used inventories today. We're selling vehicles at thousands below book values. We've arranged special financing as low as 3.75%. Experience super summer sell down savings at 22 Luther dealers. 4,000 used vehicles of every variety. Special low rate financing. Preview vehicles at LutherAuto.com. The super summer sell down. Now through Monday. It's not just big. It's Luther big. I'm picking up good vibrations She's giving me the excitations I'm picking up good vibrations She's giving me the excitations Randy's here to answer the question, who is this Terry Tiffy? Well, not long ago, he was the fifth-rated third baseman in the twin system, mm -hmm. but uh, he's moved up pretty quick, quickly, and now here he is he's with tops. a chance to uh, play in the postseason as well. They opened the final month of the season with a sizable eight-game lead in the Central 
a ton of confidence for the Twins, even from the first-time guys like Terry Tiffy, straight up from Rochester, first major league game. He's the hero tonight, 4-2 over Texas. Twins get going Field early, second Torrey pitch of the, the uh, bottom of the first. Right Shannon game. Stewart ties it up, 10th home run of the season, and the game is tied at one. Top of the second, talk about defense, Chris John Guzman. What a play in the hole, it's short. Gary Matthews Jr. thrown out. All tied up, bottom of the eighth, here he is, Terry Tiffy. It's a bouncer over first base, it's fair. His second hit of the night, and the Twins score twice and win the game. 4-2 final, Nathan the save, same two teams tomorrow. The World Cup is coming to St. Paul tomorrow night. Team USA battles Russia at the XL Energy Center. This afternoon, the U.S. team skated at the X, fresh off a tough 2-1 loss to Canada on Tuesday night. They know Thursday's matchup against the Russians will be a big one now that they're starting 0-1. It was a tough one last night for us, but uh, we can't hang our heads. We just, uh, you know, we're playing a great team tomorrow night as well. And, um, you know, we'd like to try to get these uh, next two in, in, in front of our home fans. The intensity level was there right from the start against Canada. And the positive is we're back home now in the U.S. and we're going to have a great crowd tomorrow night. And that's going to help us a lot. I think it helped us in Columbus and it'll help us a lot here. A reminder, this game starts at 6 o'clock tomorrow night at the X. We'll have much more on the U.S. team tomorrow. World Cup of Hockey tonight. Marion Gabarik, the Wild, now playing for Slovakia. He's stuffed by Brodeur. Canada beats Slovakia tonight 5-1. Gagne will score here. And they are 2-0 in World Cup play. Sweden on the power play versus the Czech Republic earlier today. Henrik Zetterberg picks up the loose puck in front and finishes. Sweden up 4-0. They win 4-3. Big win for them today. The high school football season kicks off tomorrow and Friday. And in Minnetonka, the skippers may look a little bit different on offense. Pat Sidoti explains. If you're an offensive player on the field for coach Dave Nelson, it usually means one thing, get ready to run the ball. But this year, Minnetonka has a new approach. I've always been kind of a, a run guy, but uh, you know we think we have the ability to, to throw it this year too, and uh, should be fun. We, we got some pretty athletic kids that can run and catch. One kid that can do both is senior Chris Jopperu. He's a 6'5 tight end who is being recruited by almost every Big Ten school, even the one that landed his older brother Ben. I went to almost every one of those games, so I, I don't know. I, I know the campus really well. Chris isn't saying where he'll play next year, but seeing Big Brother's success at Michigan could push him in that direction, or it could have a completely reverse effect. Touchdown. Yeah, I just you know, be myself and not really live in the shadow. Try not to. They share the same last name and the same position, but that's where the similarities end between the two brothers. Chris is a taller, thinner receiver, and he says he's ready to make a name for himself. <laughs> yeah, he's blessed with a lot of things, height and strength, and he can jump and great hands. Truth be told, Chris is very proud of his older brother and everything he's accomplished. Ben's now a member of the Houston Texans, and Chris has a new favorite team. It's my new team in Madden now, so, I don't know. You, you, got, you control your brother? Yeah, yeah, I put him in the start. And pass the ball all the time, because when you have a Jopperu on your team, that's what you do. Pat Sidoti, Carol Evans Sports. And just a reminder, that good-looking guy right there on Friday night, live on PAX TV, our first prep sports extra of the season, our spotlight game, Creighton Durham Hall against St. Thomas Academy. Those two teams first met in 1920, and they are still wow. playing against each other. We'll have more on that later this week. Yeah, good-looking guy will have more on that. Thanks, Randy. We'll be right back. Towsley Ford, number one in the Northland with over a thousand new and used to choose from. All with pre-discounted prices that bring buyers from all over the state. 04 Ranger 4x4 Super Cab, Air V6 Cruise and much more, $139 a month. Yes, $139 a month at Towsley Ford, White Bear Lake. So, you need a bed. I'm still sleeping in a single bed. It's embarrassing at my age. I want a queen, but... Imagine your single bed gone. Okay, at least it was a bed. In its place, a queen size bed frame, foundation, mattress, fitted sheet, flat sheet, two pillows, two pillowcases, and a blanket, all for just $297 at Slumberland. All just $297? The blanket, pillows, cases, sheets, mattress, foundation, and bed frame. Bring it back. It's the all in one <laughs> 10 piece bed package, just $297, only at Slumberland. You could just leave it here, right? 
Nothing adds style to your home like genuine ceramic tile. And now's the best time because there's no payments till spring at Menards. Choose from dozens of styles and sizes of beautiful floor and wall tile. Designer four and a quarter inch wall tiles start at just 26 cents each. For a perfect tile job, use the Master Tiler Diamond Wheel Wet Saw. With a powerful one horse motor, just $159. Add style with tile from Menards. Save big money at Menards. Tonight, Jay's all new with Tour de France winner Lance Armstrong with a special announcement. And the American Chopper guys present him with a tribute bike. Plus, Olympian Rulon Gardner, John Fogarty, and Ross the intern and the soprano Steve Sharippa uncover the convention. Puffy Payne, you guys speak the same language, I see. <laughs> then on Conan, the governator. All new tonight. How to pitch a tent. Family pack. More than a $23 value for just 16 bucks each. Twins baseball and the DQ family pack. Presented by Cary Levin. When you're hot, you're hot. Before we go, a Canadian canine is on a roll. Check out Stryker, a 10-year-old Border Collie. Today, he set a new Guinness World Record for rolling down a car window. He did it in just 11 seconds, which is two seconds faster than the record that he previously set. Stryker actually learned the trick when his owner accidentally locked him in a hot car. No. Yes, he was able to horrible. roll down the window and save his own life. He did it in 11, on. I can do it in 9. You don't have pause. 11 seconds is nothing. Electric. Really much faster. <laughs> See you at the fair tomorrow. If you see news happening or capture news on home video, please call the CARE 11 News tip line at 593-1111. Check this out.